bolts are loose. Now this coil is just going to fall right off of here, just like that. There's nothing to it. Comes right off, holds its shape. You don't have to worry about it loosening up. The, the super glue is not even dry. But because it's not being supported on the inside by the bolts, basically it's going to hold this shape now. I'm going to sit it down and let it dry. And what I want to show you here is how this works. So you can see this part here. The coil is a lot bigger than that. The bolts are the bend points for the inside of the coil. So it actually rests on the, the coil rest on these bolts and the holes that I put in in this are actually wobbled to the inside so the, the bolts when you loosen them up they tend to go in like that and it pulls right off the coil so the holes are loose I made them specifically so they would do this so they all fold inward to allow the coil to, to slip right off. And the, the threads are fine and they're smaller than the shaft. So it doesn't even nick the inside because of the way that's set up. Don't want to strip them out. Now it's still plastic, so just need to snug it up. You don't want to go get it too tight because it's not it's not it's rigid enough it won't lose its shape. So if you look at how this works, this is fairly thick here. It's probably almost uh, three quarters of an inch. So it doesn't give. So as the coils are wrapped it can't mess up the width. The, it, it's rigid enough it won't lose its shape. So you can see the wire comes over this and through this groove and then the bolts are the support points for the wire. So I don't know if that all makes sense but it means the, the coil falls right off. You take the bolts out the coil comes off every time. You don't have to worry about it being getting stuck on the center part of the winder that way so so that's kind of it and uh, this right here is kind of slick uh, this is just a, a mag reed switch like on an exercise machine or you can get a reed switch and this right here is a pedometer like you would get uh, they're, they're dirt cheap you can get them for a couple bucks and you put it on your when you walk you put it on your hip and it has a, a mercury switch in it that registers the motion and it counts those as ticks. Well, I took it loose and wired in just a mag switch. And when that magnet passes that mag switch, it gives me a counter for the pedometer and I also have a reset button. So that's a nice little easy winder to if you got to count them in this case I didn't have to because it was a fixed number and I could tell where it was and how many wines I was putting on it I didn't even need to count them but there's cases when you're using a real thin wire that it's just easier to count and the counter lets me do that and the way this is designed I can actually pull this off and uh, put a drill on this if I want if I'm winding something that I can run real fast I can do that so that allows me to pull that out and it comes out perfectly straight and the winder what I did on the winder is I marked it with that black line that's the fat side that's the back side of the coil where the leads come and are tied together so what you do is you pull this up about a foot we kink it over and then we kink it down like that so when I put that in here, it fits in there against that wall. I wrap it around a couple times um, just to keep it out of my way. I'm going to turn this sideways so it's going to be a little hard to wrap, but I want you to be able to see what's going on here. So you can see here, 
I'm wrapping this on those bolts. It's resting on those bolts. So basically, this is 13 wraps, and it has to fit on this coil. It's 13 by 8. So the wraps are it, that centerpiece is designed to be exactly 13, and it's an extremely tight fit at 13. So when I get to 13 here, that last wrap fits in there, but it fits in there very snug. You can see it's tight. So the first round was 13 wraps from side to side. And then once I got that in there real tight, I put super glue on the out where the coil started and then ran it across in a couple places. So this wind is on top of those streaks of super glue. And I only do this on the first and the last one. So we're at the end. So I'm going to pull a piece of this out where I need it. Cut off about a, we'll leave a foot tag because you got to connect these together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the leader and just twist them together for now. Now you're not going to leave them twisted together obviously when you connect them but uh, what I'm trying to do is create a tight fit against the lead wire here because I'm going to put some super glue on this and I want that to super glue together right there so I just twist them together for that reason. So okay. So we're going to put some super glue across here. There's a gap underneath the coil because these bolts are actually creating the shape of the, the coil, not the center piece. That gap means I can wrap tape around here and tighten it up across on both sides of this coil before I even remove it from the jig. I can't stress enough um, how much plast using plastics to build jigs and fixtures uh, matters. If I was to make this out of wood, some of these cuts wouldn't last. They would break. Not to mention uh, anchoring bolts and plastic. Nothing has to be tapped. You just screw the bolt right in and it grabs. So um, using plastic is definitely the way to go to build these kind of jigs. You know, that's why machinists use it to, to build fixtures. So. Um, that's where most of this plastic comes from is a place that supplies machine shops so you know tighten that up like that right pull that around and you get that good and tight and now that's ready to come off of there